So a lot of people think empathy is a bit of a fluffy concept, something like kindness, being nice to other people. But in fact, it's a really well-established psychological concept. If you open a psychology textbook, you'll see there's two different kinds of empathy in there. The first is what's called affective empathy, and that's empathy as a shared or mirrored emotional response. So if you see anguish on the face of a child and you too feel anguish, that's affective empathy. You're sharing or mirroring their emotions. Now, if you look at the anguish on a child's face and feel a different emotion, you feel, for example, pity. You think, oh, the poor little thing. That's not empathy, but what psychologists call sympathy. That's an emotional response, but one that isn't shared. So that's the first kind of empathy. Flip over the page in the textbook and you'll come across not affective empathy, but what's called cognitive empathy or perspective-taking empathy. That's where you really try and imagine what is it like to be another person with different beliefs or ideas and experiences about the world. And for example, we do this when you walk past a homeless person and rather than just the sympathy response of feeling sorry for them and tossing them a coin, you might try and imagine, well, what's it really like to be uh, sleeping rough on a cold winter's night? What's it like to be walked past without somebody looking you in the eye? Well, empathy is that ability to step into the shoes of another person and look at the world through their eyes. The challenge is to make that imaginative leap into the perspective of another person. So Mahatma Gandhi famously said, whenever you are in doubt or when the self is too much with you, apply the following test. Recall the face of the poorest man who you may have seen and ask yourself if the step you contemplate is going to be of any use to him then you'll find your doubts and yourself melting away. He was basically saying, try and step into the shoes of other people. In that case, you know, the poorest, most down and out people, but why not extend it to the telemarketer or to your uh, husband or wife if you're having an argument with them or you know, someone who cuts you off when you're driving or on your bicycle.